Hello, my name is Tanner Gordon, and I am a commissions analyst at Vivint Inc. here in Provo, Utah. As the commissions analyst for the inside sales department, I am tasked and have the responsibility of running commissions on both a monthly and bi-weekly basis for five different sales teams, over seven different pay scales, and to over 350 different sales representatives. Most of the time, the data that I use through SQL is clean, accurate, and precise. However, there are times where the data that I am pulling is inaccurate, incorrect, or is no longer what is needed. I would like to talk about today coding with SQL and how we can use this amazing tool to pull reliable data from a database at a moment's notice. So as I said, data is reliable. SQL allows us to pull that reliable data from a database. Using a simple SQL query, we can query specific data to filter down to specific results that we are needing. As a commissions analyst, I am using SQL daily to build and manage pay scales and calculate commissions for many, many people. SQL is a tool that allows me to pull the data from a database and filter it down to what I need in order to calculate correct and precise information for commissions. If I'm using inaccurate or unreliable data, then I am paying out people on information that's not correct and I can cost the company thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's very important that through SQL, I only have the most reliable data. Here we have an example of a simple SQL query. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, and there are four main types of SQL dialects. PostgreSQL, MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, and Standard SQL. Each SQL query, though they do vary uh, in dialects a little bit or the syntax slightly, all starts with a select statement, a from statement, and our conditions. A select statement tells the database what information we're wanting. The from statement tells us what database we're pulling from. And the where statements or the conditions filter that data down to the most reliable for what we're needing. For example, I calculate the commissions for the inbound and outbound sales departments. So this query, I would filter down to only the inbound or only the outbound, depending on what I am needing to pay. It's important that I'm pulling from the reliable data and it is constantly changing. There's over 350 different sales reps. That data is changing constantly uh, and I need to be aware of what data is changing. So with the data being changed constantly, every hour, every minute, every second, data is being uploaded into, pulled from, altered from, or deleted from a SQL database. I need to know what's being changed and how it affects the commissions. I, as the commissions analyst, manage over 30 different tasks or set timeframes where a SQL query, like we saw on the slide before, runs and pulls specific reliable data. Since I'm affecting many, many people, and since I'm paying out the company's money, I need to be aware of what is changing, how often it's changing, and if the changes are as expected and if they're accurate. With SQL, I can catch and see those changes, and I can ensure that what I'm getting is real and true and accurate, reliable data. Data is valuable, and SQL adds to that value. Companies are swamped with data. Data is, I like to think, is the blood of a company. Without data, companies aren't able to know what strategies are working or where they should focus their efforts. SQL adds to that data. SQL provides you a way to pull the data, store the data, and then make data decision, data-driven decisions. So with the data pulled from SQL, you can implement a new marketing strategy, you could focus into a new market, you can see what your key performance indicators are, where your leads are coming from, and really make decisions that your shareholders would want to see and that the company as a whole would need to grow. Um, in order to change in the ways that we're looking for. 
So a few of the recaps here. SQL is an extremely important and valuable tool. SQL allows us to pull reliable data. <clears throat> data is also dynamic, meaning that it's changing on a constant basis. We can use SQL to query specific data and pull what's most accurate, what's most reliable, and what's most valuable. As the data is changing, we can use SQL to minimize our losses, and we can use SQL to catch the changes either before they're implemented or after they're implemented to be aware of how our data is changing. SQL also adds value. SQL allows us to make data-driven data decisions as a company, and it allows us to know where we need to focus our efforts and how we can grow as a company in whole. This is an amazing product that adds effort, that adds value, and that adds um, performance to a company so that we as a company can grow. Thank you.